Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, I'm showing you part one of how I make my fresh spaghetti sauce and it starts with this rustic roasted tomato sauce, you guys. It is full of onions and garlic, lots of fresh herbs and some red wine, of course. The result is this bold tomato sauce that is just bursting with flavor. You are never gonna wanna go back to the can once you taste this stuff, all right? Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start with a variety of different tomatoes. And don't be afraid to use kind of the weirdy, misshaped tomatoes, you guys. Usually those are the best ones. Kind of like, you know, people. But yeah, I have a variety of tomatoes. Um, grape tomatoes, beefsteak, all kind of tomatoes. I have my pan. I'm gonna drizzle it generously with some good old olive oil. Okay, be generous there. Cut your tomatoes in half and place them cut side down on your baking pan. Roast it at 375 for about 18 minutes. I also kind of broiled them a little bit. When they come out of the oven, gorgeous gorgeous now here is my favorite thing to do in the entire world you know what it is peeling off the skin of roasted tomatoes I don't know why I love this so much but it gives me so much joy okay it's so fun but yeah go ahead and peel those skins and you can also remove the seeds if you want to I never do though I mean I don't mind the seeds you know that's perfect set that aside we're gonna go ahead and move on to our onions and garlic add some olive oil into a skillet and then add your onions in there just like that dump them in we're gonna let these bad boys saute a little bit until they are translucent and smelling all divine and stuff then we're gonna add in a crap load of garlic i love garlic and tomatoes and onions yes perfect perfect trio there we're gonna add my garlic in there we're gonna cook this just until it's fragrant and then go ahead and add in those roasted tomatoes dump those right in there just like that, just like that okay that looks great and then I'm gonna take my little um, potato masher here it's gonna do a little praise dance all around the little pot just to kind of break up some of those tomatoes and stuff you know then we're gonna add in some warm water I bet you thought I was gonna use chicken broth not today not today just warm water that's perfect just like this right here okay I'm gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes or so just to kind of reduce some of that liquid and then I'm gonna add in lots and lots of fresh herb thyme basil parsley yes oregano get all in there and be all yummy and stuff okay go ahead and let this simmer for just a little bit just like this it looks like salsa doesn't it mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't even explain how good this was smelling so good next I'm gonna add in some brown sugar for a little bit of a sweetness and then I'm going to add in my salt I'm using some pink salt sometimes I like to use a smoked salt but today I'm just using you know my pink salt go ahead and give it a generous sprinkle okay nice and then we're gonna add in a little bit of pepper you know I got some salt and pepper going on it's simmering away just let it thicken up a little bit okay that looks good yes that is perfect okay now when some of that liquid has reduced even more we're gonna add in some red wine use your favorite kind I will give some suggestions on my blog if you need them but just use whatever kind you want to drink okay I'm gonna add in that wine and now I'm gonna let this simmer away until that wine has dissolved and it only has like a little faint taste of wine you don't want a strong wine taste just a little hint of it okay and now we are pretty much done okay this looks perfect this is the first step that I use to make my homemade spaghetti sauce and this is homemade roasted tomato sauce you have to have it when you make my recipe okay so make it and set aside I like to have it a little bit thinner so I'm gonna place mine in my little food processor just to kind of blend it up not a lot just I don't I don't like it as thick and chunky like this just a little you know so I blended it up and here's how it looked fresh roasted tomato sauce it is so good you would want to eat this as is but you better save it because I got that spaghetti sauce recipe coming up and you need this, okay? It makes about four cups. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Thursday and Sunday at 8 o'clock. Later.